Damn, Zwok. Damn, where are we going? Damn, Zwok. Where are we going? We're going on a crazy expedition to Barbell Brigade. Look at that blue. I'm blue. I'm blue. Action. Hold up, ready? Okay, go. No. Fuck. You did it right. You just got to do it one time with confidence. There it is. Oh, shit. Now what happens? I don't know. I think it's supposed to like... It's supposed to go all the way up, but you didn't do it with confidence. I think it it, it felt your little pussyfooting. <laughs> you gotta just be like, BAM! And Bam! it's gonna open. Bam! Damn, dog! Look at this ride. I drive her. <laughs> it's just quiet. <laughs> Damn, look at this ride. Can you get ride. enough of it? No. Marbury, can you get enough of your new G-Ride? No, I literally just got it like less than 12 hours. Your new whip. Damn, Zwag. Damn. 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 This is the front end. Damn. 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 What's the significance of in and out to Californians? What's the significance? It's huge. You don't say LA specifically. You don't. You can't mention LA without mentioning in and out. It's like classic. It's legendary out here. Like everyone that is from out of the country, they always say we got to try in and out. What's your favorite? food to get in. Well, first of all, what do they have at In-N-Out? So In-N-Out sticks to its root and it's super traditional and it only has three items. It has your hamburger, your regular cheeseburger, and it has your double-double. Double-double is two uh, beef patties. So they're pretty much all hamburgers. It's all just hamburgers. That's some it. have extra patties, some have cheese. Yeah, that's it. So Keep that's it that's how simple the menu is. They have your drinks, which are like fountain drinks, regular drinks like Sprites, uh, root beer, Pepsi, lemonade. They're known for the lemonade too. Pink lemonade. Bam. Pink lemonade, right? And then they have like their milkshakes. That's it. Over the years, they've gotten so popular that people started customizing some of their food. And there's like a secret menu. And stuff like what well, bar order, which is a three by three. And then they have animal style. And they have like. Flying Dutchman. Flying Dutchman. They have. Protein uh, style. Protein style. They have uh, grilled fried cheese, mustard, grilled fried cheese. mustard, grilled cheese. I used to eat that all the time when I was vegetarian. There's just no meat in that. They have the angry butthole. I've never heard of that. It's the, it has the one with all the jalapenos all the in it. All are always smiling all the time. They have all the jalapenos in there. I'm starving. I'm just kidding. I just made that one up. Oh, fine. But here's the menu. That's all the over there. As you can see, they keep it real, real simple. Damn, it does not want to focus. Keep it real, real simple. But yeah, see? Oh, we got cheeseburgers, hamburgers, french fries. That's it. What's your favorite uh, food at In and Out? Oh, he knows four all his zero. favorites. How come you don't like cheese? Are you that well, stupid? Explain what the 4x0 is. 4x0 uh, four is a four patties, no meat. Well, and then you can get the 4x4, four four. it's four patties, four cheese. Are you that stupid, but you don't like cheese? Yeah. But look at his eyelashes, though. My eyelashes are pretty nice. Everybody compliments him about eyelashes. But they also say that your IQ is low. No. Everyone says that. I test my IQ score. Would you be down to wax your eyebrows? Wax my eyebrows? Yeah, yeah. Like clean it up. No. Oh, here, yeah. Not here. Why? What about your cheeks? I need, I want to get these, yeah. Because I fucked up and my brother was like shaving, but I was like, no, it's going to come in thicker. And now I'm getting the hairline up here. Like, look. Because you shaved it? Yeah. No, I think it's just because you're hairy. No, I only have like few whiskers. It's good. Or maybe you're a part Sasquatch. Yeah, I've been. That's crazy. What if like it grows from here and then it connects? Oh, I've seen people. Oh, the... well, not like. Just, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's not gonna happen. Are you sure? Yeah. I'm sure. You have at least one uncle that looks can like that. Can you get this laser? Yeah. Probably. You can get anything laser. Yeah. You should get sure. Yeah. Anything. Any hair, you can get laser. Why? Why did you say it like that? Well, I mean, like, can you go out and like, get my bubble laser? I get yeah. Mine laser. So you just like. You do? Yeah. They what a nice bubble. Such a, yeah. You have such a nice bottle. You can get your butthole bleach too. That's so weird. Why? I just want to see the person that has to 
I just want to see the person that like, that, like, can you bend over and let me spread this and just like shoot the laser? Yeah, that's exactly. They don't say let me spread it. They're just like, oh, bend over now, and it's kind of, it's kind of known what's gonna happen next. They, they, they tell you to like, shave it too first, they right? They go one by one and like this, and then they don't go like this. They need their other hand, but they just do one side and then they do the, they do the lasering. And they're like, oh, like, did you make sure to like wipe and like take a shower before? <laughs> <laughs> That's what happened? <laughs> they tell you to shave it first too, right before yeah, you, you come have to, in. It's so painful if you don't. Because they can't, they can't can laser a furry butthole. Well, they can, but then it's really painful for you because it's essentially burning the hair in the hair follicle. Oh. So if the hair is longer. It's, it's gonna just, catch on fire. Yeah, and it burns. Not like flames. Oh, shit. I'd rather get it waxed. Why? I'd rather like me like sit down on a wax waxing thing and just like squat up really fast. No, waxing is every few uh, weeks, depending on how fast your hair grows. How's the laser? Dude, several months. several months. But it's permanent though. Once you get all the treatments, you're done. Waxing, you have to keep doing it every month. Oh, it's, it's not permanent. It just comes out finer. So like, let's say I don't do it for a year, I will have to go back. But let's say you got back. 10 laser sessions and your butthole's nice and smooth. True. I mean, my butthole's nice and smooth, for sure. It is smooth. Yeah. You have a nice butthole. Thanks. <laughs> what are you looking at over there? Cars. Are you going to get one today? Hopefully. What? Zam Zwag? Coming up in life. You know one thing I never really tell Nadim? But I'm going to tell and you right nice now. he's nice and he's smart and he's mature and he's Well, I'm not going to bullshit talented. people. <laughs> but one thing I want to say about Nadim is that he's, he's, handsome, he's, he's strong. strong. That, that for his age, I'm very, very proud of him. Because when I was his See, age, like I am compliment. I am complimenting him. This is this is once care. in a while. Like Let me enjoy it. Let me enjoy it. This is like, this is the last time. Look at the shirt you're wearing. Follow that. Yeah. Follow the game. I can't read that. It's too. Well, continue. So Nadim is uh, for, when I was his age, I used to fuck. So Nadim's really young. He was 19, just turned 20, and when I was his age. I used to fuck around all the time. I didn't pay attention in college. I didn't even know what the hell I wanted to do. He's like, I'm gonna stop this quick. <laughs> but Nadim, um, he knew what he wanted to do at 18 or even 17. Came down to Barbell Brigade to drive down from San Francisco, like every month, and train and, and become friends with everyone at Barbell. And then he got himself a job at Barbell. Then he learned how to edit and direct and I shoot. Moved he moved down. He learned how to edit and direct and shoot from KC. So he completely just pursues his passions, knows what he wants to do, and grab life by the horns, and just... Fucked it. And completely uh, <laughs> fucked it. And now, at a young age, at 20, Nadim saved up enough money to finally buy his own first car, which I wasn't even able to do until, uh, I don't know when, like when I was like 25 or 27. I am a loser. Which is why I praise Nadim, and I'm very proud of him, that he is able to make a huge change in his life, move to somewhere that's completely unknown to him and have a good job and now be able to buy his own car and make his parents proud. With you guys' help. We're I bet, not your, you for shit. I bet your parents are really proud of you. Hopefully. They tell me they are. I know they are. Because I'm proud of you. I'm thank proud you, of you indeed. You. You're so fucking ugly dude. <laughs> Can I eat please? Yes. I don't know what you're doing. Yours is the tiny one. I got the three by three animal the style. No, look how many fucking patties are on this motherfucker. This one? You probably got the little baby shits. Alright. Gio says she doesn't, she loves tomatoes, but she's gonna take those tomatoes out, I bet you. This is a lot of tomatoes. <laughs> I like a balance. I don't like one thing being like No, the other chef than the planned it to be balanced already. The chef? Oh god, that looks yummy. I can't wait. Mmm. Oh yeah, baby, mm. baby. All right, so if you want to know what's inside the car, I mean, you can look at it, but then it also lists in here. And then uh, it tells you the total amount of the car. They call that the window sticker. Mm -hmm. yeah. So the window the sticker, sticker the sticker price, yeah, and it tells everything price. that's included. So you have your dual front and front airbags. I mean, what are you looking for in this car? Uh, one that reverses. Okay, so we got Basically, that. Because um, this one comes with the Bluetooth wireless technology. Uh, oh, you have a three month subscription. The Sirius XM. XM. I got one year, just saying. But it's worthless. If you have Pandora, you don't need any of that shit. Yeah, yeah. Um, Anti-lock brakes, which I feel like these are all pretty standard. Air conditioning, duh. Power windows, locks. Again, they state this because some of them don't come with it. The thing that really uh, is beneficial, and I highly recommend it if you can get it, is the rear view backup camera. Especially with a big car. I think you said the 
Oh, it looks so cute though. Yeah, especially with a, a big car, it's hard to park sometimes and you don't want to hit your bumper. Oh, thanks. Cool. Did you say this had a camera? Thank you. Yeah, it's got a camera. Oh, okay. Sick. Yeah, it's supposed to look elegant but aggressive like a tiger. Yeah, it's supposed to look good. Wait, what did you say about the Audi guy? Audi guy, a tiger nose grill. It's elegant and aggressive. Oh, combines the, the, the feline qualities too. The feline qualities, I like that. Right. Yeah, the interiors are more upscale. Uh, we're having more people not compare this vehicle, a Sorento, like with a, like a Pilot or Highlander, Toyota Honda, Nissan Mazda, Chevy Ford. They're looking at this car, they're looking at the Infiniti QX60, the, the Acura MDX, the Lexus RX. The insides are, are very nice. Um, Does this one come with the uh, seven seats or five seats? These are five seats. Is there any upgrade to seven seats? Uh, for twenty three hundred dollars more, you get seven seats because you gotta upgrade a couple things on uh -huh. it. Yeah. How does it feel so far, Nadim? I like it. It's pretty cool. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I'm gonna drag race it. Yeah. Oh yeah, you could definitely do it. <laughs> Let's find out what the quarter mile time is on this bad boy. I like the music you guys got going on. Oh yeah, it's real good. Oh yeah. What car are we in right now, Nadim? Kia Sorento. Which model is this? The EX model. The other one was a... LX. LX? And yeah. What was the horsepower on that? 180? 185. 185. This one's 2... 290. 290. Damn, 100, over 100 horsepower more. Uh-huh, yeah. V6. That feels better already. How do you like the Sorento so far? I really like it. You do? I like this one too because it has seven seats instead of five. Oh. oh awesome. You want to bring your imaginary friends up? Yeah. <laughs> That's good. Plus, Briggy and Fox. Oh, okay. <laughs> How does it feel about to buy your first car? Good. I'm happy. Really? Are you excited? I'm excited for you. It's a big boy decision, right? It is. Growing up. Are you nervous? I am pretty nervous right now. Now that we're handling the paperwork section? Mm -hmm. What are you nervous about? Since I'm very young, I don't have established credit, and my credit score can't be that good. So hopefully, they still give me the car, and it's not too expensive. You know what the good thing is, is if you do get this car, then this is going to start building your credit, so later on, like a few years down the line, when it's time to get another car or get whatever, this will be on your credit report history, and it'll show that you didn't have any delinquent payments, and it'll boost your credit score. If you don't fuck things up, but you always fuck shit up, so, yeah. so we'll see. Alright, so this first document here is a privacy statement, means your information, Kia Cerritos Confidential. We don't share or sell your personal data, so this right there. That's what they all say. Yeah. <laughs> You'll be getting offers from Best Buy, from big screen TVs, all that kind of stuff. Just for credit check, just uh, sign and date right here. How's team doing with his first car buying experience? He hasn't cried yet, which I'm surprised. Today's How old were you when you first bought your first car? I was... When I bought my first car, I was like 19. Or like your first new car, where you have to oh, step into a dealership. I was 20... Are you training the vehicle? Because it is pretty intimidating. I'll bring this ID card right Were you intimidated? Hell yeah. Well, no, not really. I really wasn't because uh, I really had no help. Like my dad was like, I'll help you. But he didn't help me because I think he really wanted me to learn. So I did all the research on my own. I called multiple dealerships, got comp like price comparisons over the phone. I found one that was really good. So I did everything by myself. Um, but because I was so equipped with so much information, I wasn't as intimidated. I was scared because I'm like, oh, what's gonna happen next? But then I mean, when you start dealing with paperwork and you get all these papers shuffled in front of you, you gotta fill all these things out. You gotta do these credit reports. It is pretty daunting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was scary, but I mean, I, I just felt confident in like my ability of what I wanted. Like I was pretty firm with what I wanted. I think that's mm -hmm. what helped me. Even my dad was like, ooh, I'm really surprised. Like, you didn't, like, come to me for help at any point in this whole process. I'm like, I'm a Kwan. Ooh! <laughs> Geo Primer said you're a little bitch. No! Basically, yeah, that's what I'm not doing anything for him at all. That's what true. have you done? We're Nothing. just sitting here. That's so exactly true. what my dad did for me is what we're doing for Nadine. We're here for moral support, and Nadine is doing a great job. My palms are very sweaty. Really? <laughs> 
So um, Nadim ended up not being able to go home with the car today, unfortunately. And uh, some of it's not even his fault. He's just a young guy, doesn't have established credit. And um, he's had, I think, two loans, one for his camera and one for his lens that he paid off. But because there were late payments on there, that affected his credit. So now he learned that. So I think the good thing about this is that it's a learning experience and Nadim now learns what he has to do to bring up his credit and how he has to balance his savings in order to increase his credit score because uh, your credit score in America is pretty much the thing that opens, it's the key that opens most major doors. If you want to buy a house later, some states, if you want to get a concealed uh, carry weapons license, if you want to buy a nice car, you know, and uh, pretty much like uh, what I learned today too is the banks, before they offer you a loan for your car or whatever, they want to see linear progression. So yeah, Nadim has borrowed $1,000 from his credit card to buy his lens, but how does that prove that he can pay off a $30,000 car, which is the amount of the car that he wants? Now, if you wanted to get like a $15,000 car, the bank would have approved it, but the car that he really wants is $30,000. So that's a huge step right there. And I think the same can go for someone at my stage in life where, yeah, I have a Porsche, but like, let's say I want to buy a mansion for some reason. Like, let's say I want to buy a mansion for $2 million. How does a $110,000 car, me paying that off, give the bank confidence that I can buy and finance and pay off a $2 million house? There's still a huge gap there. So what you want to do in life is it's very similar to lifting weights, actually. You want to have linear progression. So maybe instead of going after my dream home, it might be in my best interest to buy a starter up home. Buy a home that's $500,000. That's not too far off from my Porsche car payment. Show that I can pay that for a few years and then sell that house and trade it for a much more expensive home. And being able to fill in those gaps, that's what the banks want to see. And that's what the credit bureaus want to see to show that you have good credit. So due to Nadim's young age, he doesn't really have established credit. I mean, the, I think only has like one or two credit cards and the limits are very low. So jumping from something that's 800 bucks, 900 bucks to something that's 30,000, that's a huge leap of faith that you're asking the bank to take. So I can understand from like a financial institution standpoint as well. And I'm really happy that I was able to go with Nadim. A, because uh, Nadim is, um, it's a good learning experience for him because he's going through so many things at a young age. I'm actually really grateful that my first first car that I don't even consider that I bought, but technically I did, is uh, a 2004 Tacoma that my mom co-signed. So because she was able to co-sign me, um, technically on paper, I already had a loan payment ever since I was 19. But I don't consider that car that I bought it because I used her money. So the first car that I purchased myself was uh, a brand new car. It was a Durango. And uh, because I've had established credit since I was 19, since my mom co-signed, it helped me out. So I'm actually really grateful. Thank you, mom, for that, for helping me co-sign and build my credit at such a young age. But Nadim is doing all this by himself. All his parents are in the Bay. His relatives are in the Bay. So no one can really co-sign for him. So he has to go through this himself. And because of that, he has to build all these baby steps. But uh, this was such a great learning experience for him and for me. And I wanted to share with you guys because I know a lot of you guys are going to be purchasing Probably like your first car or your first dream car or, or, you know, making a big purchase very soon in your guys' lives. And uh, it's good to kind of keep these things in your mind so you know how to play the financial game so that you can end up getting the things that you want. Because it's not that simple. It's not just because you have the money, you can buy it. There's so many other things that play into it. So it's important to uh, look at all the things that contribute into you getting what you want from many years before just so that you can play a strategic game and uh, end up being successful. Are you down for it? You said you wanted me, right? Let's get Shabu Shabu. I said I want King Taco. But King Taco makes my butthole freaking blow out like a but flat tire. It's because you put a bunch of chili on it. No, I don't use that anymore. Yeah, you don't do. Don't lie, don't lie. You I'll just lie. said. No, I've been decreasing my chili usage at King Taco, well, but it still you makes. Do you or do you not use chili? Yes, I do. You see? But you have to, you have to, because without chili, the King Taco taco tastes funny. 
Do you have Gundam just, style socks on? You guys gotta go to that place. Uh, <laughs> the one Where? that Joe talked about. Where? It's off, I think, 26th Street or something along those lines. It's next to a Muay Thai. Uh, oh, yeah, we used to go there all the time. That place is, that's pretty fucking bomb. Yeah, we used to go there. I feel like that might be a good compromise. Be it is, but you still need hot sauce. Oh, my God. I mean, maybe you'll get lucky. Their chili and their hot sauce will be better there versus King Taco. That's true. I'm down. I'm down to go there. Because it's just the King Taco hot sauce that blows my butthole out. You guys get El Pastor and you'll be safe. You cute yeah, bitches. Funny Bricky. Bye. Funny Bricky, you big freaking cutie. Funny Bricky. <laughs> Look how cute they are. You see how cute they are, Ma Bear? Yeah. Their butts are touching. <laughs> so fucking cute. You guys are so. Did you tell everyone about Bricky's winner though? Freaking cute. <laughs> no. Oh, so we found out, we're looking at why Briggy has his, uh... Because before her nose was black. It was all black, but now it's fading out. And they're like, what's going on with their nose? And then we looked it up, and it's called winter nose. So some dogs, during the winter, their nose starts to fade a little bit. That's all. Oh, Briggy, thanks for winking at me. Funny. Fungus funny. You guys are so cute. Fungus funny. Talk to me with your eyes. All right, she says, get the fuck away from me. Talk to me with your eyes. She says, I want a milkshake. Me too. Fungus funny. So where are we going to get then, babe? Are we going to go to that 26th Street place or you want to get Shabu Shabu? Oh, man. Nadim, what do you want to eat? Uh, <laughs> Are you down with grandma? I'm down with grandma. Nah. nah. What, do you, what do you want then? Um. Kiwis? <gasps> do we have enough time? If we go to one of those like, legit ones. We probably don't have enough time. Why? We have to be there at 7 on the dot or oh, yeah. Well, what time is your meeting with Aaron? I'm not meeting with Aaron. Oh, you're not? Nope. Oh, shit. What are you doing? You have stuff to do tonight? You do? Like a meeting, like a time, like you gotta be somewhere? Oh no. But you got stuff to do it all, right? Yeah. So do I. I have to, we gotta consolidate the footage and we gotta go to Bryce's thing. Cause I guess my question is, do you have the time to eat Korean barbecue, stop by Barbell for like 30 minutes and then head back? So you, we won't be home until like eight-ish. You do have that time. So then are you cool yes. with Korean barbecue? Are you cool with uh, the pig place? Yeah. Which one do you want to go to? That's I'm my favorite one. That. That's why. I just feel like that one's always busy. But I'm down. But it's five right now. So if we go there now, we could beat the brush. Let's do it. You drive. Let's see how long it takes for Gio to get out of this couch. That was already five seconds. Six, <laughs> seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one 21 seconds. <laughs> and a butt shake. <laughs> and a butt shake. And a butt shake. Shake your guys' butts. Butt shake like your mom. But 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 bum 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 shake your butt, shake your butt, but 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 shake those butts. This is Ma Bear and she always shakes her head at me. You just introduce me all the time. Yeah. Well, because I'm introducing a new mob bear, the head shaker mob bear. Why were you shaking your head earlier? Because you're an exaggerated person. You're very How? dramatic. How? <laughs> what? That's, what? Like of the That's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. A cup full of ice. I love ice. Exaggerated. What's wrong with that? I think they only gave enough ice like up to here, so I had to pull it out. Yes? Yes, I am. Oh, hi. Cool. Thank you. Get yeah, let's do it. Head <laughs> type. Thank you. <laughs> so, you gotta win your ball with that guy. Well, the cup was this much ice, and I'd like it to be maxed out with ice. Which is why Give I me put my rice. This much ice on here. So that it can be extra cold and geo. Doesn't appreciate that. Just shook her head at me like. No, this is just an accumulation of things. This is just one of the million things that you exaggerate. Can I get my rice? What do you exaggerate? Me? We're not talking about, we're talking about you 
<laughs> what the hell? Well, what are you exaggerating? Nothing. What do I exaggerate? Look at this. Everything. This is the proper way to chill Coke. You pour the Coke over the ice and it slowly drips down and becomes really cold. This is how I pour my Coke. That's how delicious it is. And then you still can't drink it. Because if you're a Coke connoisseur and you want it to be really, really cold, after you do this, you stick it in on the side closest to the cup, and then you spin it. And then when you spin it, then it gets really cold. Why are you spinning it? Because it gets really cold when you, when you circulate it. I'm gonna eat now. I'm gonna eat too, I'm starving. So this is our last stop for the night. Um, Bryce, Lewis, and Hani are holding a powerlifting seminar here. So we're just stopping by just to make sure everything's running smooth and see how everything's going. Shake some hands, kiss some faces, slap Ew. some butts. Oh, you know how you do that networking, socializing thing every yeah. now and then? That's what you do. Yeah. So we're just doing a little bit of that, and then I get to go home and relax and be with my pups again. Hey. All right, so. So the seminar is going on right now, and Jeremy's also filling up on Nadim. Oh, that's the squeezing butt. I guess that's the seminar. Are you guys touching heads? No, the tips aren't touching. That's fine. But, um, oh, cool. That's Evan. He's one of our new hires. And the seminar. <laughs> and then the seminar is going on right now, and there's a good amount of people. Everyone's getting their form checked up. And people are lifting, sweating, grinding, hustling. Nice, I love seeing barbell like this. So many serious fitness athletes trying to better themselves, learn more, gain more knowledge, and uh, perfect their technique at Barbell Brigade. I'm gonna try to walk in without disturbing what's going on and uh, not cause a scene. Yeah, so people lifting. We have the music on low so people can talk and explain stuff. Joe, Joe got a nice haircut. Hey, what's up, man? Ren has a nice sweater. Can you see? It? That's what I was just telling you. My grandma's sweater? No. It looks nice. You guys have similar sweaters. Nice. Hi, James. Hi, James. The here. Oh cool, there's more instruction going on over here. Let's see what they're talking about. Oh, Bryce is saying something. Spencer brought it up here, so do me a favor and lie down on the ground for a second. There. So we only have so much room in the femur to move as far as range of motion goes. So Bryce is a very experienced powerlifter. Extremely strong. Squats over 600. Deadlifts over 700. Benches over 400. And he knows a shit ton of stuff. So he's doing a demonstration. Two white guys in the gym touching each other. And that's Hani. He's the other guy. He's really strong too. And they're both from The Strength Athlete. Check them out on their website, thestrengthathlete.com. That's if you ever need you online coaching or anything so like that. Based on how you leverage I like that position. Um, and in some cases, Let's I zoom into it. it. We get pelvic rounding at the bottom. Pelvic of the rounding? What is so that? If you guys prevent it, either we have this athlete go to the point where he's <laughs> before that position, he's not going any lower. What the heck is going on here? This is Neil. You guys know Sarah? And they're just massaging each other. That's the culture of Barbell Brigade. What do you think of the seminar? I think it's great. I think this is awesome. I just don't want to interrupt. Fine. You can hear us talking. Okay, okay. fine. I can feel my face when I'm with you. But I love it. But I love it. Oh, I can feel my face when I'm with you. But I love it. I saw it, it had like 